Hi everyone, welcome to Focal Academy. See in this problem, here one transmission is given here. So and it was operating at a frequency 10 MHz. And the transmission and properties are given here. It having the resistance 60 ohms per meter and inductance 600 microsiemens per meter and inductance 0.3 microhenry per meter and capacitance is given as 0.75 nanofarad per meter. Then how can you find the characteristic impedance for the given transmission line? So this characteristic impedance happen with the letter Z0. Now how can you find it? We know that Z0 equal to root of R plus J omega L upon G plus J omega C. So here R plus J omega L is called as series impedance and G plus J omega C is called as shunt admittance. So first of all find series impedance and shunt admittance then we can easily find characteristic impedance. So R plus J omega L. So that is R is given as 60 ohms J and omega means 2 pi f 2 into pi into f. f is given as operating frequency that is given as 10 megahertz that is 10 into 10 power 6 into and L is given as 0 0.3 into 10 power minus 6 Henry per meter. Okay. But uh, here it is in complex number form, nothing but rectangular form. So convert this into polar form. So let's see here. So whenever the complex number form given here, so that is x plus i y form. So this is a rectangular form. So this can be come into polar form that is r with angle theta. So where r is root of x square plus y square and theta is tan inverse of y by x. So here this is x and this is y. So x plus y by form now convert into this form. So by converting into this form we will get 62.7 with phase angle 17.44. This is equal to G plus sorry R plus J omega L. Now similarly in the same way find shunt admittance that is G plus J omega C. G plus J omega C. G is given as 600 micro Siemens micro means 10 power minus 6 plus j into 2 pi f is 10 mega edges that is 10 into 10 power 6 into c is given as 0 0.75 nano faraday nano means 10 power minus 9 here comes this real part as x and this is email part as y. Now substitute in this equation we will get magnitude and you will get phase angle. So that is we got g plus j omega c equal to we we'll get magnitude that is 0 0.047 and with phase angle 18.27 degrees. So why we are converting into polar form because here there is division is there. So but the division between two complex numbers is very complex. It takes a lot of time to simplify. So if you convert into polar form, we can easily simplify. So let's see here. Z0 equal to root of, here we got R plus J omega L. 
that is 62.7 with phase angle 17.44. Upon unshunt admittance, we got this is the value. Okay, now substitute here 0 0.047 with phase angle 18.27. Now, let's see here this is a very easy simplification. So, before that, I'm going to give mathematical definition with R1 with the phase angle theta1 upon with angle with the magnitude R2 with phase angle theta2. So this is one polar form, this is another polar form. So whenever two polar forms are divided to each other and it can be written as so here R1 and R2 are the same values are there, just magnitudes. That is R1 by R2. And we'll get overall phase angle is that is theta1 minus theta2. Means differentiate the theta minus theta2. Okay. This is the standard formula between two polar form division. Now apply here. root of 62.7 upon 0 0.047 with the phase angle 17.44 minus of 18.27. So by simplifying this, we will get, so I am going to directly apply with root also in the calculator, we will get 36.52 with the phase angle minus 35.9 degrees. So this is in polar form. If you want to convert into rectangle form, you can also convert this R with phase angle theta. The polar form can be converted into complex form or rectangle form that is R into cos theta plus I sin theta. So this is the standard formula for converting polar form to rectangle form. So let us consider this is r and this is theta or phase angle. Okay. Now substitute these values in the equation, then we get 29.6 minus j 21.4 ohms. So based upon the options given in the exam, we can use this formula or we can stop here. Okay. And this is the process of simplification. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share. Thanks.